friends, this is Pastor Lucas Finn and this is our Snack for the Journey. And this week, can you believe we are already Friday? This week we are in the book of Jonah, the prophet Jonah. God called him to go to Nineveh to preach a very hard message. If you do not repent, 40 days, if you do not repent, God will destroy you. And Jonah had a better idea try to flee from God, run away, because then God would destroy him. And, uh, and, and God find him, catch him uh, through a, pay, a fish, uh, vomit him, and then call him again. And then he decided to obey the Lord. And he goes and he preaches. And what happened? <laughs> happened what Jonah knew that would happen. The people repent. Everybody repent and fast the king the, all the big ones and the small ones even the animals had to fast it was kind of it was it was a, a, a revival in the land everybody repented and then because they repented God said okay they repented before the 40th, 40th day I'm not going to destroy them then and then Jonah get upset with God and displeased. And this is the verse that we're going to read. Chapter 4, verse 2 says this. He prayed to the Lord. Jonah prayed to the Lord. Oh Lord, is this not what I said when I was still at home? That is, that is why I was so quick to flee to Tarshish. I knew that you are a gracious and compassionate God slow to anger and abounding in love, a God who relents from sending calamity. I knew it! You were going to save that people. Oh, I knew it! <laughs> oh man, it's so funny because it's sad, right? Because this is a prophet. He was not supposed to feel like that. You're preaching and you want to see the... Re how many pastors, how many preachers, how many prophets would like to have that response. You walk through the city, a big city, a large city, the one of the largest city at that time in the world. And you walk through that city preaching a simple message, message preaching 40 days. If you do not repent, the Lord of heaven will destroy it. 40 days. And he walked one side to the other, one side to the other. And then the people repent. And they declare fasting and everything. We're going to change our ways and, we, and say, wow, it, 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 it works, it happened. So everybody, I would be, everybody, I believe every preacher would be extremely happy. Everybody but Jonah and said, I knew it. This is why I told you, this is why I didn't want to do it, because I knew that you were compassionate, you are loving, and, and they would change, and you're not going to destroy them. Oh, come on, I prefer to die. Give me a break, Jonah. Give me a break. The Lord is doing something big here. The Lord is doing a wonderful work changing people's hearts and lives, sparing them to death and, 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 and certain death and, and Jonah get upset because he want them to die. He want them to be judged and die. Come on. Come on. And sometimes we have this kind of attitude. We see God doing something in the lives of other people and we got upset as well, oh, but they do not deserve. And we are more righteous than God. And Jonah, Jonah asked for asked, he wants to die to kill me. I, I don't want to I don't want to leave. The Lord said, Look, there are so many people there in this town that they need grace and love and forgiveness and I'm gonna do it 
And Jonah got upset because they were saved. They didn't die. They were not punished. And uh, it's a very sad testimony for Jonah and about Jonah. And sometimes we have this kind of attitude because we see God blessing other people and people that we think that they do not deserve to be blessed. But God is using His grace and mercy, abundant love toward them. And said, we got mad to it, God, and said, why them? Why them? We need to understand that our God is a loving God. The love that He gave you and gave me, the mercy that He gave to you and gave to me, the love, the grace that He gave to you and grace. He is free to use and give to anyone He wants. And it's not about us. It's not up to us to judge them and judge God and complain and be upset like Jonah was. So we need to learn with Jonah not to be like Jonah. And this is your snack for the journey. God bless you.